All right, personal trainer and inspiration and guru, all those things. <laughs> Erica White's here. Um, I'm so glad to see you. It's been a while. I know. Thank you for having me back. Always love coming here. Always. I love your kitchen. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love my kitchen too. I, um, I want to talk, to, though, you wrote an article recently and it really helped take care of some of these things that we um, see and, and don't know what they are. And it's our numbers. We, we, right. we all have a personal couple of numbers and I want to kind of dissect that a little bit. So the RMR, is that one of them? What are That's our numbers? What are our numbers we need to know about? So most people when they're trying to lose weight, they like to listen to Dr. Oz. And I'm not knocking Dr. Uh -huh, Oz, but he uh -huh. endorses everything. Right. So people like to do a lot with the raspberry ketones, the mm -hmm. green tea. Hey, okay. magic berries don't even grow beanstalks. I do know. Do not believe that <laughs> stuff, okay? Right, and it's just getting people, because of what we look at is when people get to that point where they're plateaued mm -hmm. or they can't lose weight or they can't maintain it, now it's like, what do I do? The thing that you need to know is your numbers. So we were talking about RMR and BMR. Okay. One is your resting metabolic rate and one is your basal metabolic so rate. So let's go first one with the resting metabolic rate. rate what, right. what is the RMR? RMR is basically, the only difference between RMR, we'll say, and the BMR is the way they're tested. Okay. RMR is how many calories you burn just resting. So mm -hmm. Rebecca, did you park close or you parked far away this morning? Close. You came close, okay. You still burn calories. Right. Even right. though I parked across, we're all burning calories. Okay. And this takes about 70% of the calories you consume are used by just resting. Just being yourself. Just being alive. Being alive, we burn calories by being alive. And that's our RMR. And they calculate, you can calculate that. There's a lot of online calculators. Yes. What do you weigh? What's your activity level? Right. What's your age? age? Height, weight, everything goes into that. And then then we know. So what is your rest? Can we can we share our RMR right. number? Or is that personal? Actually, I had my BMR tested. Okay. So your BMR my, is what? Let's my talk about basal it. metabolic rate, which means how many calories my body needs to breathe, my heart to beat just my body to function. And mm -hmm. I did that one. Um, I actually went to a local center here and uh -huh. had it done. And they found out that mine for my calories, it's about 1643 to 2046. So you have between 1600 and 2400 or 2000. 2000, yeah. 2000. 2000. You have, uh, that's the range that you can stay in this form of Erica. If I want to get where I want to, where I want to weigh. So okay. this number has to do, and I know we were talking about mm -hmm. this earlier, you were saying, think about where you want to, where, where do you want to weigh? And I know that I want to be in, and I know this seems a lot, but I am a normal person. I want to be in about in the 160 range for my age, my mm -hmm. height, the way I like to feel when I put on my clothes is I want to be in the 160 range. That doesn't seem a lot. You're, you're tall by, uh, you have, uh, she has tennis shoes on and I have heels on. So <laughs> this is the true right. representation of Erica and Rebecca. I'm a, I love you, Rebecca. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 160 is fine for you. Right. So if you notice even the correlation, I want to be in the 160s, the first two numbers of mm -hmm. my metabolic rate or what I should be eating just resting mm -hmm. is 1600 calories about a day. And there's a range in there. So when we say that, here's why it's so important. So if I know my body needs 1600, we'll just round it down, calories a day just for me to breathe. Mm -hmm. Just to be. Eat, just to be. Uh -huh. Then why am I eating a 1200 calorie diet? Right. You should be eating a little more. Is that what you mean? Right. <laughs> Right. Hallelujah, right? <laughs> and, and that's the whole thing. Your metabolism controls your hunger levels. Mm -hmm. If you're always hungry, it's because there's not enough there to level out or maintain your metabolism. So then you can then calculate your activity. Let's say then you know you are uh, a fitness instructor. So you're yeah. burning more than the average gal. Right. When my B BMR was tested, it was fast. But that takes work. I don't. I wasn't born with a fast metabolism, uh -huh. and I use certain tools. Like yeah. this is one of them. This is an. Op so you put it around here. Can I? I'll yeah. just show here. So I'm gonna. I take it right around here. See that on Rebecca? It's our first and it's actually my polar, and mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, okay. And I love it with the strap. The thing with the strap here uh -huh. is that it's going to hit more than on your wrist. Is this more all day? No. Just when you're exercising? I could wear it to get an idea. I have for 24 hours to see what okay. my BMR is. Okay. So that's one. And I love using that. And then what happens is you set it up on this watch uh -huh. by your own age, weight, everything having to do with you. And when I work out, I'll know exactly how many calories I'm working at, where I am at the percent of my heart rate, which is important. Mm -hmm. Because we know by just in doing a 30 second interval three to five times during a 45 minute workout, you can increase your BMR. So these are the things that I, I want people to take away from this. First of all, you can calculate things online. 
There are all kinds of online tools. Tons of tools. Erica has them on her website, which we'll link to, and we have them, all that stuff. But um, the other thing that I tell people is calculate what the weight you want to be, like you were saying. You want to be 160. What is the BMR for 160? Is that 1,300? Is it 1,400? And can you live there? Can you live at that weight and that amount of calories? Because the minute you start eating more than that, you're going to float up a little bit. And it doesn't matter what you're taking or what you're doing. And I, and if this makes you feel a little better, yeah. um, don't think of the skinny person, the really thin uh -huh. person as having the fast yeah. um, metabolism or that. Because the thinner you are, the less calories your body needs to maintain. Mm -hmm. You know when your body needs more calories? When you're weight training. Right. Because your muscles need more calories to burn. And that's what's going to help you. When you're eating, um, the other thing I want to tell you about when doing this, using my fitness pal, make sure that you go in there instead of just telling my fitness pal how much you want to weigh. They have a BMR um, little uh -huh. thing where you just pop in there. No, it's not a thing. I can't right, think right. of thing works a little for me. thing. Do hickey, just, all fine. You type it in. Try to use that more and invest in invest in your health. So getting to know your numbers will help you get to that next level with your fitness. Right. I want everyone to visit your website, but I'll link to it. But it's ericawhite.net. Net. Don't forget. Uh, when I appreciate it, Erica. I no mean, problem. If, look at this. She's made a huge transformation. She can help you. I visit her site to see what she's doing all the time. I do. And she looks great. Uh, I wish they could see your legs. Yeah, these me too. are great. They're all right. They're all right. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk to my favorite joy of Weight Watchers, Joy Ermy, and we've got 50 years of Weight Watcher.